hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of uni of ife i wish you a happy weekend i pray that this weekend will be a joyful one and a blessed one for you i also want to appreciate you for always being part of my channel for all your contributions thank you so much my god will bless you and reward you for me so my people who allegedly they said the king only of if i have promised queen naomi that this time around if she is going to uh, give her second chance that she he is going to be a husband to her and not a king record that they said there's this a uh, renowned brazilian chief who attended the olojo festival and after the festival the man decided to go and see queen naomi with the king because uh, he had met with queen naomi once they said when queen naomi and the king traveled to brazil the man uh, entertained them in his house and you know it was a joyful moment between the two of them so he decided to use the opportunity to behold queen naomi's beautiful face again and to also uh, try and see if he can convince her to you know give the king a second chance so they say when the man uh, came to queen naomi and uh, explained a lot of things which also include uh, letting her know that uh, there is no marriage without crisis or without misunderstanding that what matters is that uh, after everything that they settled the matter and in this uh, king's case that a lot of people are involved in his matter and all of that they say after all the preachings and all of that they said the king promised queen naomi before the brazilian king and his father and the seer who went there with uh, uh them with him he promised queen naomi before everyone that if she gives him second chance if he accepts him again that he is going to be a husband to her and not her king because we do know that uh, they say she he have realized his mistake that all this while he have been a king to everybody and queen naomi but he is supposed to be a husband because a husband will care about uh, uh his wife a husband will be there for his wife a husband will be an umbrella who protects the wife because on another say without a, any any woman that doesn't have a husband people will be coming for her you know uh, both young and uh, old they will be coming for her and the attacks from different sources will be coming for the person but if there's any husband a husband serves as an umbrella to any woman and if that umbrella is strong enough the umbrella is going to protect the woman from any external abuse or harm but the king wasn't an umbrella to king to queen naomi while she was in the palace and that was why she suffered uh, she suffered a lot of humiliations and the uh, problems from people who are not supposed to attack her had it been that the king was an umbrella to her had it been that the king was there to protect her knowing that the uh, queen naomi is special that she is not like every other of uh, his subject because it looks as if he treated her as a subject just like every other person giving them equal rights because here uh queen naomi is not supposed to have equal rights with all these other uh, people she's supposed to have upper hand you know but it looks as if the king did not give her that opportunity and that was why she left so uh, they said the king promised her before everyone that if she will uh, give her the op give him the opportunity of being her husband again that she is going to act like a husband to her and she and he is ready to make amends he is ready to prove to the world that yet i've made mistake before but this time around i am ready to make amends you know they said there's nothing she he did not promise uh with naomi and this time around a lot of people have been saying that uh, the king you know people that are close to him people know people who know how he acts before and how he is acting now keep saying that uh, he is damn serious as a very very serious this time around like before unlike before you know when he would just say these women are living this is going to be like this this is going to be like that and after everything uh, it will be business as usual. They said he started by, you know, changing his attitude towards the Oloris, you know, and now 
they are all uh, bothered about his action, ab about his uh, attitude towards them. And with this strategy, he is now being serious about them leaving the palace. But according to what we are hearing, they said the soothsayer, uh, the Brazilian soothsayer who came with the renowned chief, told him that he is never going to achieve it by being violent to the women. That he has to treat them uh, with love, you know and explain what he needed from them. And whenever he is uh, applying any measure that he should be serious and wouldn't, uh, should not allow any form of distraction to, uh, to extract him. So, but uh, never him trying to use force on the women because if you try that, uh, they are going to fight back and it is going to be a, dr a, a drastic one on him. So he have made it clear to him that no matter what he do in life, let him never lose Queen Naomi, you know. But as for the women, they are his mistakes and he should find a way to settle that mistake amicably and not by using force. That if he uses force, it is going to affect his reign as a king because uh, uh, there are people, there are people whom uh, the king thought they, they mean well for him who are using some of the women against him. So, but when he is polite, when he is uh, uh, tackling the issue with a, a kind of a respect for the women, that those people might not find a way to come in. I mean, I mean, those people that are behind the women, telling them, go ahead, we are behind you. They will not see reasons to come in, depending on how the king treats the matter, you know. So, as they said now, the king is very much ready about some of the honorees, which include uh, Ronke, Ashley, uh, Mariam, and um, Tomitokbe. Although, from what we are hearing, they said Tomitokbe have found her own house long ago, and the king have paid for the house. They said the house is in uh, Ileife, you know. But because other honorees are still in the palace, they have not lived. That was why she was still uh, in the palace. So, as it is now, let's just pray. That's when Naomi will give the king chance. And I believe he have learned his lesson. Now he have learned that without Queen Naomi, he is incomplete. Because he thought without Queen Naomi and with all the women in his life that he is going to be okay. But it seems as if he have realized that that is never going to happen without Queen Naomi. And now he is serious, always begging, begging, forgetting his class and all of that. And that's why I told you people that when it has to do with the things of the heart, he means love. Hey. When you are in love, eh? Hmm. you not go even remember your class. You not go remember your wealth. You not go remember who you are. You will just be like a, a, a baby, as a small baby. You know men self when they're in love. Hmm. Anyways, let's not just go into that. But you guys should understand what I'm saying. As it is, the king is in love with Queen Naomi. Whether you people believe it or not. And some of them are saying that the king wants to prove to Queen Naomi that this and prove this or that. I don't see it in that direction. So whatever, however you see it, uh, I don't know, it's your business anyways. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget that they are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Give this video a thumbs up, share it, and turn on the notification so that you get notified each time I upload a new content. Bye for now. Love you guys.